everyone, welcome to Watch It, Paint It. Today we're going to be painting Graz and Prog from Massive Darkness by Cool Mini or Not. This was requested by William on Patreon, so we're doing that for him today. We're going to be starting with Barbarian Flesh, that's the colour primer by Army Painter, and that's just doing a light coat on the model to begin with, and that's a 100% match for the Survivor skin by Army Painter. So that's just a shortcut in doing the skin. This model's mostly skin, so I thought that'd be nice and easy. We're going to be moving on to Beastie Brown for the base coat, and this is a brown by Vallejo. Um, I say we, this is another one by Benson. So unfortunately last month he did manage to get 50 likes within within a very, very small period of time, so thank you very much for that. But uh, my bad, basically, as hopefully you noticed, I put out a lot of videos last uh, month and just didn't have the time to edit this one. So here it is this month, Benson's back, and he's painting this model for us. So if you do enjoy this tutorial, do big up Benson with a thumbs up below and maybe a comment as well. So all that time I was just talking, he's just painting this beastly brown. This model's got a lot of straps and a lot of... Uh, leather basically so that's what he's painting in here and we're just finishing up there with the boots and more straps there's straps on his arms straps on his legs straps on his back straps on the front straps on his battering ram on the back straps on his belt um, you name it there's a strap everywhere so just find all the straps as depicted in the art really and, and paint those he's going to be moving on to steel legion drab next this is another um lighter brown uh by Citadel. So if you don't have this, maybe a leather brown by Vallejo or the Army Painters. It's a similar tone, and this is just it's just to add a different brown to the model, really. So here he's painting in all the the sticks and the uh, handles to his uh, axe and his spiked club, maybe. Don't know what that item is, but he's also got that battering ram on the back, so painting all all the wood with steel legion drab here. Um, Benson's using his base brush I think it's called by Citadel but it's very very similar to the regiment brush by Army Painter which I use. He's going to be taking a light medium grey I'd say this is storm vermin fur so this this to me looks something between Necromancer's cloak and um, what's the light grey by Army Painter? Filthy suits if you mix those about 50-50 you'd be coming up with that colour I think. Strachan Green's next up on this base coat and this is for his pants or his trousers if you're in the UK with me. Uh, just applying that all over his all over his pants really, but front and back, uh, just being careful not to get any paint on those areas we've already painted. Still using the regiment brush, this is a large model, um, it's quite a long video as you've probably noticed already, uh, and, and that means it's very easy to use a larger brush, so the regiment brush or the base brush if you've got city dolls, very very easy to fill those bits in. It's going to be using the lead belt shirt uh, metallic silver by Citadel here and that's for all the silvers there, all, all of them on the model so that's the axe head those spikes on the axe um, the, the stopper on the bottom of the axe uh, the butt on the uh, shaft let's call it yeah that sounds good he's doing the end of the battering ram there as well it's got an, it's got a face on the battering ram it's really nice detail which I hadn't noticed originally um, but yeah, I really, really like it actually. So if you have a look at that, it's a little skull thing. Uh, lots of silver again to paint. He's got armour on his knees and his shins. He's got little armour shin pads. That's because uh, he actually was a footballer before he started the Massive Darkness Wars. So not a lot of people know that, but now you guys do. He's also got steel toe caps as well, in case he's doing any heavy lifting of boxes. You need to protect your toes, otherwise you just can't work with industry, really. Uh, he's got, I don't know what you call that, a piece of metal around the back of the battering ram and the spike on top of his club. And he's got a load of studs as well, so on the shaft of the of that weapon, so make sure you get those. A couple of medallions front and back there, so they'll also be painted in this silver. And then he's got a bracelet on his right hand, a bunch of spikes. That's quite quite a nice little weapon, I guess. If you if he had to go to fists, he could just uh, throw hammer fists and spike them in the head. Hmm. Cool, cool. Uh, armoured on his wrists as well and up his forearm on that side so plenty of armour to paint this model's got a lot of bits to paint I mean it's just a large model so it's to be expected really so once the, the arm arm armour is done he's got a couple of these uh, circular bits on his thigh to do and don't miss the hilt of his daggers he's got two daggers there's a couple of those and the, the butt of his daggers as well there so there's at least one of those to paint and then he's painting in some shabti bone, and that's for all those sort of bone-like pieces. So that's across, it, across his groin there. He's got a skull on his chest. 
Uh, Benson's painted those three things hanging on his chest. I don't know what they're called. Uh, anybody know what they even are? I can't tell what they are in the art. Um, it's got a couple of bones on both legs. Uh, it's hanging from his armour by the look of it. Uh, probably collected some fingers of his fallen foes. And then he's got a bunch of spikes of this spiked club uh, sticking out. So we'll paint those in the same colour. Moving on to his hair, we're going to be using Hot Orange by Vallejo. Uh, still with the regiment brush or, or base brush. So that's I don't know which one's Prug and which one's Graz, but um, one's got a beard. Well, both have got a beard. One's got a plaited beard, very, very fancy. And the other one's got a bit of a mohawk, so make sure you get those bits. Nice and easy to see. A nice and bright colour, so this is going to stand out nicely on the table. Uh, we're going to be using Talon Sand by Citadel here, and this is... Uh, a light brown, very very similar to a sort of the mm, lighter than leather brown and darker than bony spikes. So maybe a 50-50 mix of those by the army painter set if you don't have this one and you'll get a colour similar to that. Uh, it's just like a sandy colour. I find that's one of the colours that is missing with the army painter set, this sort of khaki version. Next up is Turquoise by Vallejo, and this is to paint on all these straps and strands that are running across this model. It's got plenty of them. Um, it's nice. I don't often get to use Turquoise. I really <laughs> really enjoy it as a colour, so it's nice when it's on a model. Um, so, yeah, just all the straps, just carefully. But it's still, as you can see, it's the regiment or base brush here, so they're not very difficult to, to hit. Um, it's, it's just a large model, so it's large strands. So it's pr pretty easy to do. Uh, just take your time and care with that because you have painted the rest and if you are uncomfortable do go down to a smaller brush. Benson's going to be moving on to some shading now and he's going to be using Agrax Earth Shade. So this is a sort of dark, dark brown uh, shade which he uses on the majority of this model. Not not his skin but basically everywhere except the skin. Just getting a nice even coat of this, try not to let it pool anywhere, just getting it in the recesses mainly but also darkening a lot of the the areas as well just get a darker uh, color before highlighting it up as well as you can see there he's just getting the the hair of the models so all over the model except the skin so he's going to be using seraphin sepia which is another shader by citadel and this is a lighter brown quite a flesh tony one and he's going to be using that to to as you can see shade the skin of the model making sure plenty getting on under, under those fat folds and in, in his at muscles I guess they still look quite fat even on his arms where his biceps would be so he's going to be moving on to highlighting next and he's taking a mixture here of about 35-40% steel legion drab and 65% of talon sand really lightening that up for the highlights so he's dry brushing that on hopefully you could see there there's stroking the brush across all of those ridged areas of all those wooden bits and just giving it a nice highlight Next up is you've Shabti Bone again, and he's just painting back in the, the the edges of all those bone areas he painted before. So just bringing the colour back and leaving the shade in the recessed parts. Again, he's going to take hot orange and he's just painting back in that base colour on all the hair of the model. Next, he's going to mix in 50% gold yellow by Vallejo with that hot orange, and that's to start highlighting the outmost parts of the hair, so all the raised parts of his beard and his mohawk there. And then after he's finished that, he's going to do a third and final highlight, this time with 75% of that gold yellow, making a very, very yellow final highlight on the very, very edges of all those hair bits. 85% turquoise and 15% Ushabti bone here, making a lighter per, uh, turquoise, sorry, just to highlight up the edges of all those straps. So he's just basically painting a very thin line down each strap just to give it the impression that light's hitting the edge of them all there. And even though he's on the highlighting now, he's still using the very tip of his regiment or base brush there just to do the highlighting. It's a large model again. Here's 50% Ushabti Bone and 50% White Scar. That's Citadel's bright white. And that's just to paint on the final highlights of all those bones. Next is 35% Beastie Brown, 65% Talon Sand. So this is to highlight up all of the leather on the model. Strachan Green again, just neat so 100% strack and green by citadel and this is to highlight up his pants again so he's just applying quite a thick layer to all of those raised parts of his trousers to bring it out that base color once more it's going to mix in 25% new shabti bone with it and that's to start adding the highlights so he's painting a much thinner line on all those raised areas so he's just trying to blend it together as he approaches the more of the light 
And finally, he's going to take 50-50% Strachan Green and a new Shabti Bone, and that's to paint on the final highlight on the very, very edge of all those folds in his trousers there. And hopefully you can see that's looking very realistic, very 3D, very fancy pants. 50% Storm Vermin Fur and 50% White Scar, and that's going to be to highlight up this uh, groin cloth that he's wearing here. So all the folds that... Uh, you can see as well as the belt in the middle that was the same color so that's all the folds along the belt as well lead belcher just neat again and that's just to paint in some of the base color back through of all the um, metallic silver areas of his armor uh, and his weapons so anywhere the shade was catching towards the edges just painting those back in in, in the original base color before doing some final highlighting which will come later uh, how are you guys finding these new pop-ups I have with the, the, the colours? Is this better than showing the, the paint? Is it better than the last time I used some pop-ups? I'm just experimenting at the moment, trying to find a better fit for the videos. So finally, we're going to be highlighting the, the Mithril Silver by Citadel, and that's on the, the very edges. As you see, he's dry brushing this on uh, just to all the tips of the metal, making sure all those um, the sort of studs, rivets have a nice glow on the end as well, back down to a normal brush for that, and uh, just making it glow as though as though the light's hitting all of those raised parts of the armor at any point any of these steps in the highlighting could be missed out if time's more of the essence i think in my videos i do slightly less highlighting i'm going for a, a more of a speed paint uh, benson's spending a lot more time on the highlighting and going for a much better look and fi finish on the model i think at the end uh, i'll let you guys be the judge of that but obviously take what you want and ditch what you want from these videos as much as you like He's going to be highlighting the skin next, so he's using Survivor Skin, that's by the Army Painter. That's the same as the Barbarian Flesh it was primed in originally, and he's just painting back in the original um, base colour. Uh, just leaving the, the shade in all of the recessed areas of, of his skin and all those folds and fats and in his muscle lines. Uh, and around he's got sort of like pimples on his skin, warts or something, so he's making sure to leave some shade around the edge of that. Uh, his hands as well there, uh, uh, around his face, so his uh, Graz or Prog has a bald head, so make sure you highlight that up, as well as the brows and anywhere else, his ears and his nose, that sort of thing. Just painting in hot orange there for the eyebrows that were missed on the model at the beginning. I wonder if anybody noticed that. So the next level of highlight for the uh, flesh is 75% Cadian flesh tone and... 25% Kislev Flesh, so they're both by Citadel. Mix those together and you get a nice lighter flesh tone than the Survivor Skin. Um, if you don't have those, Survivor Skin with some uh, Brain Matter Beige is what I would do. Probably about yeah, about the same ratio, 75% Survivor Skin, 25% Brain Matter Beige. This time he's mixing 50-50%. Again, if you've got the Army Painter set, 50-50 Survivor Skin and Brain Matter Beige here would, I think, have roughly the same effect. Um, and he's just painting less and less of of all these areas each time, trying to blend it together towards the the like most raised parts of each fold and each muscle and uh, his fingers as well. And the same on his facial features, just uh, moving the sort of glow towards the light, really. And final highlight he's going to use is just neat Kislev flesh. So for here, you'd need to just use Brain Matter Beige at about seventy five percent for this this sort of look. And this is just a dab on. Uh, the very tips now is just the final, final bit in the middle of all of those lines you've painted on. I hope it's not just me, but I think that's looking very, very good and very, very realistic uh, in terms of light hitting flesh, especially on a teeny tiny model, which isn't teeny tiny because it's massive really, but um, you know what I mean. And it wouldn't be a Benson video that I was editing unless there was a final, final coat because Benson just loves highlighting. Does anybody else love highlighting this much? I, I prefer every other step of modelling except the highlighting, I think, uh, even though it should bring it all together and make it look fancy. Next up is White Scar by Citadel. This is their plain white, and that's to paint in the model's eyes, teeth, and highlighting up those fingernails, which would have been new shabty bone to begin with. Also painting on the very tips of the spikes from his club. He's going to use it Abaddon Black by Citadel and this paint on the four pupils of this model more than normal so keep a steady hand. He's also going to use that to paint the, the base of the model so black for a, for a, a roaming monster as per my colour scheme at the moment. Uh, just quickly painting that up and 
voila, that's the base painted. So once the models arrive safely back at my house, I can get a town changing everything Benson had done. But no, I'm just painting bright gold on those bits that I think were bright gold in the in the card. So his nose ring and those three random things hanging, hanging from his chest. So two hours, 16 minutes, that was insanely long. Very large model and Benson does love highlighting. So any of those steps you can obviously miss out if you're unhappy with too much detail, but we'd like to show you exactly what you can accomplish. So hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, do big up Benson below with a thumbs up and maybe leave me a pat on the back as well for the uh, six hours of editing this video took. Uh, anyway, we did get a bunch of new Patreon subscribers, so thank you very much for the support and thank you all for watching this video.